Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you already know that 5 squared means to multiply 5 by itself. And hopefully, you'll know the answer's 45. If you're also watching this video, then hopefully you'll know that 5 cubed means 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. And that answer is 125. But what happens if we try to square a negative number? Or if we try to cube a negative number? Do we simply just add a negative sign to the answers? And are they the same? In this video, that's exactly what we're going to investigate. And hopefully, you're going to learn something. But before we get started, if this, if this is your first time here at the Mathsman YouTube channel and you'd like to see more maths videos by a qualified teacher, then hit that subscribe button and please help out the channel by smashing that like button. So in the first part of this video, we're going to investigate what happens when we square a negative number. And then in the second part of the video, we're going to investigate what happens when you square a cubed number. So in my first two examples here, we have 4 squared. And we all know that 4 squared means 4 multiplied by 4. And we all know that the answer to that is 16. Nice and easy. Now we have negative 4 squared. Now if we, th if we think carefully about what this squared sign means, it means to multiply negative 4 by itself. So negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. And anybody who has previously learned what happens when we multiply two negative numbers together will know that it always leads to a positive number. So if you multiply two negative numbers together, it makes a positive number. So the answer to 4 squared is 16, and the answer to negative 4 squared is also 16. And this is the same for any number that is negative when we square it. So if we have 6 squared, then that is um, 36, sorry. So 6 times 6 is 36. And if we have negative 6 squared, that is also positive. 36. Weird, right? Now we're going to investigate what happens when we cube a negative number. It's completely different to what happens when we square a negative number. So here we have 4 cubed, nice and easy, which just means 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and then 16 times 4 gives us an answer of 64. Nice and easy. What happens though when we have negative 4 cubed? So we've got negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. Now, when we have two negative numbers and we square and we multiply them together we end up with a positive number but when we have three negative numbers multiplied together we actually end up with a negative answer so if we do negative four multiplied by negative four we actually have at that point 16 and then it's 16 multiplied by negative four which leaves us with negative 64. So that is completely different, isn't it, to when we have to um, multiply it, when we have to square a negative number. When we cube a negative number, we always end up with a negative answer. So if we have um, five, negative five cubed, that would be negative five multiplied by negative 5, multiplied by negative 5, and that would give us an answer of 
negative 125. So to finish this video, I've got two questions for you. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work out the answers. And then when you've worked out the answers, just write them in the comment section down below and I'll check them for you. So the first one is negative seven squared. What does that give us? And then the second question is negative eight cubed. What does that give us? Hope you liked this video and I hope it did help you. If it did, then don't forget to smash that like button down below and I will catch you in the next video.